Now we're into the adaptive. Of course, prior to the adaptive, because we have a machine with the automatic tool changer, we pre-drill the hole so that we're not ramping in much quicker. However, if you don't have an automatic tool changer, you're just going to go straight to the rougher. The rougher is a different tool than an end mill. The, the rougher takes off a whole bunch of material in a hurry, but doesn't leave a very nice surface finish. So then we come in after the fact, nice slow and low with the end mill and clean it up. Now, what I'm doing because I have a stub rougher, which means it doesn't have long flutes, doesn't, it doesn't cut very deeply. I'm doing it in multiple stages, but I want the axial uh, stock to leave to grow as we move down. So it moves further and further out and that allows us not to rub on the shank of the tool. We'll go in here and edit and I'll show you what I've done. Just speeds and feeds, nothing serious. We could go quite a bit more aggressive on this, but we come down the bottom height is the length of the flutes of that stub rougher. That, the length of flutes is uh, 0.625. However, we, we want to leave a little bit of wiggle room and this is, but we'll do be able to do this in two, three steps anyway. So nice and quick. Now we come through here, all kind of, of different um, options. We want to machine the cavities. We want to use slot clearing, dock to leave. Okay, so this is why I am coming down in three separate machining operations because the radial stock to leave here 15 thou. We do smoothing, makes for a nicer finish. There's no reason not to put smoothing on. And the ramp type is pre-drill. So look at this. If we were to do, if we go helix rather and nothing, we're gonna hit okay and it's gonna do its thing here, calculating. You see this helical move here? That takes a long friggin' time. So that's three, and it's hard on the cutter. That's three minutes and 43 seconds. Let's change that back to the way it was. I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna go pre-drill. We're gonna click on here. Click on here. That's the point. So it went from 343, if memory serves, to half the time and it's so much easier on the cutter. Next, we drop down a little bit. It could have all been done in steps in this one operation up here, but I didn't do that. And the reason I didn't is because if you look at the radial stock to leave now, now I'm leaving more stock. So it stepped over so that it doesn't rub. We're milling even further down so that, and I learned this the hard way, so that the chamfer in another step can come in here and chamfer this without chewing this stock out. Remember this thing, it's, it's only as dumb as the operator. It'll do exactly what you tell it to. And if you tell it to chamfer through a bunch of material what hasn't been cut, it will do it.